views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we got a great show for you today. Sue Storm, the angel lady, is joining us. She's in the house because we're talking about the angels for love and romance with the angel lady, Sue Storm. So that's what we're going to talk about, Benny. What are you thinking about that? Oh, we've got to have some love angels in the air. Uh, Fifteen years ago, almost to this day, that's when we first connected with Sue Storm. And that's when we first introduced her to our audience. Whoa. <laughs> Time flies. Like, Time Whoa. sure flies. Whoa. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, but she's joining us here today because they're always around us and they always want to try to bring more love into our lives. You know, a lot of times we often want to think about, oh, my planets are not aligned or we got a blue moon going on or but da, 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 fill in the blank and all of the above. But you know what I love? Here's what I love. Uh, I love the fact that we get to ask for whatever we want. Um, This is part of how we bring the love boat in our lives. Did I say love boat? You did. No. I did. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Bring the love, bring the love boat, (laughs) bring all of the above in our lives. Now, listen, Sue Storm has done something extraordinary. First of all, she's been talking to angels her entire life. Secondly, she's the author of several books, which we're going to talk about today. But also, thirdly, she knows the names of the angels. And every one of us has our own angels. And so part of what we're going to do today is open up the phone lines, 1-800-930-2819. You want to get plugged in today. Because part of bringing love in our lives goes beyond what you might think about. How about love for people that you've had a resentment with for years? How about love for, you know, relationships that you've seen that probably you're three, four, five people removed from? How about mending, mending, mending? How about taking that walk? Taking that walk, you know, beyond the fields of right doing and wrong doing, there's a place and I'll meet you there. No, I didn't make that up. That was roomy. But here we are today on the show and we got to think about the people that are so important to us in our lives and we got to show them a little love. We got to be like, you know, show me the love. Just show me the love today. Two Storm. The angel lady. Hello, Sue. Hi. 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 Hey. Happy <laughs> love. There. Happy love. Happy love time. <laughs> I've been off flying with the angels, but I'm back. Oh, my God. 1-800-930-2819. If you'd like to get the name of your angels, please let us know. Um, and also uh, questions for Sue, questions for the angels. We're going to get them on air. Uh, you know, Sue, let's talk a little bit about this and the the fact that angels for love and romance. Absolutely. But let's talk about the many shades of love. It's hard to love um, another person, right? If we're carrying so much hate in our hearts or discontent in our hearts 
or anger in our hearts or resentment in our hearts. And I want to start out today by inviting our listeners to step in to help get rid of some of that, that may be crusting their hearts over, Benny, the the jackhammer of angel modification today. So, Sue. Yes. What have you learned about love? Oh, my goodness. There's so many <laughs> facets of love. And, um, you know, love, love changes. It, 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 it's, it's there. It's deep. It's, it's um, you know, universal. But it, it, um, it changes in its intensity um, with different relationships. So the, the one thing that is really important is to allow your angel to let you help you um, maintain the support or find the soulmate or um, be involved in your relationship um, because their goal is to help it um, to enhance your relationship, to make it better, to make it more loving, to make it more special. And um, it's kind of interesting to think about your angels involved in helping you be happier and find more love, but that's what they do. That's what they do. Yeah. And, you know, the the thing that I said, which I'm really struck by, is um, there are many, many, many different layers of love. And I want to start with the layer of love uh, that is actually the precursor uh, to talking about love and romance. And that is kindness, being kind to each other. And one of the things that I'm really mindful of today is that in the world we live in, We have to be able to demonstrate that our own hearts are open so as to attract the kind of people we want, right? Right, absolutely. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people wonder, don't they, like, what's up when I've been looking, 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 I keep attracting the same man or woman, like the same, that same old, you know, like cranky, crusty showing up in my life, cranky and crusty. I keep doing it. And Sue, I don't know why I do it. Now, that's not me. I I don't seem to attract cranky and crusty anymore because I used to be cranky and crusty, actually. We attract what we are. That's, That's right. Yeah. So what's the main theme for today? What do you want to share with people as we are opening up the phone lines today and getting ready to crank it up here on the show. Okay. Well, I want to share that the angels um, of the law of attraction, if you're looking for a soulmate, if you're looking for that right person to come into your life, um, Tarina, T-E-R-I-N-A, is the angel of attraction. Um, She's also the angel that works with romance. Tara, T-A-R-A, is the angel of love. And um, we have some remedies that we can do to bring love into your life. But the most important thing is to believe that love is possible. A lot of people just don't think, oh, I'll never be loved, and it's never going to happen for me. And I say, that's not true. Believe that love is possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, let's look at this from a lot of different perspectives. Sometimes we have to take a look at step by step by step by step. But the angels can literally accelerate this, correct? Correct. What have you discovered over years and years doing this and the people that you've worked with? What are some of the changes and shifts that you've seen? Well, you know, they've been, some people have been like really lonely. They've been searching for their soulmate for years and years and um, nothing has worked out. And I just ask them to to, um, believe that their angels can help them and to become what they want to attract. If you want to attract someone that's honest and responsible, then you become more honest and responsible. And and that will happen. But the, the, the basic romance is um, believing in yourself, being confident, um, and just being the best that you can be. And often people will ask me, especially um, those who already have a relationship and they have children, um, how do I make 
be the best person that I can for my husband, for my children. And I say, just work on yourself. And what I've seen is miracles, like a, a woman who actually heard me on your show and called and was having some difficulties with her family. And we worked on her. We worked on re- releasing her blocks and helping her be a better person. And it's amazing how her whole family has come around. And wow. so I, yeah, it, it's just amazing. Um, wow. And all of her children have gotten involved and they're getting the help that they need. And it's, it's just a change. It's, it's a good change. And if you want it with romance, if, if that's what you're looking for, you know, talk to Tarina, talk to Tara, and open yourself up to a miracle and watch it happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, and we've opened up the phone lines. For those of you out there, Benny is busy, busy, busy taking your calls. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to go right to the phones. Please get your question ready. If you've not had your angels, we're going to make sure we give them to you today. Sue Storm, the angel lady, is in the house. Uh, 1-800-930-2819 or go to the drpatshow.com and ask your question right there. Or either Transformation Talk Radio and ask your question. But again, 1-800-930-2819. For more about Sue, go to her website, theangellady.net. Short break, everybody. Yep, real short. We'll be right back. It floats back to you. Wow. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Uh, Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I got to pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on the Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at the drpatshow.com. Who's ready to shine in 2018? Hi, I'm Wendy Rose Williams, certified spiritual teacher, past life regressionist, Reiki master, author, and radio host. Want to bring your unique message on air with me as part of the Transformation Talk radio network and Soul Wisdom radio platform? Call 425-502-0362 or visit wendyrosewilliams.com to learn how you can expand your reach by sponsoring or advertising with Soul Wisdom Radio. Hi, I'm Steve Kramer of Spirit Fire Radio, and I believe that meditation changes everything. It leads us in the direction of greater well-being, and that's a fact. I struggled with meditation for years. I understood the principles, but I found it hard to incorporate them into my everyday life. Spirit Fire's meditation practice changed that. It's called the Practice of Living Awareness, and it's taught in 14 steps. These are 14 tools that I can use in any moment on and off the cushion. Steps like smile, flow, and ground of being support my clarity of mind while I'm navigating the ups and downs of modern life. That's why it's called the Practice of Living Awareness. If you'd like to add meditation to your daily experience, The Practice of Living Awareness is free, online, and it's suited for any level of practitioner. Visit spiritfire.com for more information. And be sure to check out Spirit Fire's meditation retreats in Western Massachusetts. It's all there at spiritfire.com. Have you ever heard of the 90-10 rule? It goes like this. 90% of the time, no one is thinking of you. 90% of the time, everyone's thinking about themselves. And if you think of it like that... It takes the weight off because now you're not being judged. I'm Megan Edge. I'd love for you to join me on Playing on the Edge Radio, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host Dr. Pat on Transformation Radio FM. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics, Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show, joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down, Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
Oh, Mr. Benny, thank you. Wow, that's super cool. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back. Great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Um, so thrilled to have Sue Storm, the angel lady here. Uh, Sue, you know, two things. First of all, how can people find out more about you, especially before we go to the phones? Sure. And also, what what is the special that you have today? All right. Okay. So the way you reach me is um, the website is theangellady.net. That's T-H-E-A-N-G-E-L-L-A-D-Y.net. My um, 800 number, if you want to reach me for a consultation for a uh, to get copies of my three books, it's Angel First Aid, um, Rx for Miracles, Rx for Success, and the third book is Remedies for Life, Love, and Prosperity. The 800 number is 800-323-1790. Now, that's my direct line, not that, not for the show. 800-323-1790. And, um, you know, I'd be delighted to help you find love in your life, make mm. your life more prosperous, and just give you a jump start into something mm. new and fun. I love it. I love it. Um, Mr. Benny, I know the phone's been jumping off the hook. Who would you, who do we, who do you want to go to first? Uh, let's start with Phyllis from San Antonio. Hello, Phyllis. Hi, Benny and Dr. Pat and Sue. Hi. It's a round table. Hi, Phyllis. How can we help Hi. you today? Oh, I would, I would love to know just what the angels generally are, are wanting to have me get. Um, okay. As I have been as I have been up until now struggling with relationship mm. and many other things, but let's talk about relationship, I guess. That's, okay. Yeah. Can I give you some angels? Have you had your angel names for those that are with you for your life's purpose? Have you had those names? You, you know, I, I can't remember if I have had them given to me before, uh, okay. but I would love to hear them now. Yeah, let's, let's do that. All right. So your archangel is Michael, guidance and protection. Uh-huh. And then you have uh, Sarah, who's the angel of harmony, and peace and harmony is very important to you. And then your yeah. um, last angel is Timothy, who's the angel of good fortune. Um, and oh. more good fortune is, you know, you say you've been struggling, but um, I, I don't feel that in your future. Um, it feels Ooh. like more, yeah, it feels like good fortune is <laughs> just on the threshold for you. So, so mm-hmm. that's wonderful. Um, and as far as relationships, um, it just feels like you're looking in the wrong places, um, is what they're saying. And you need to smile more. You've kind of gotten down huh? on on your, you know, your love life uh-huh. and, and uh, yeah, where it's yeah. gone in the past. It doesn't feel like that's the way it's going in the future. Oh, fabulous. I can smile more. I'm smiling yeah. more now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Um, When you came on, you said that you were struggling, or at least that was your comment. Um, How can we get you some angel support about around that particular thing, whatever that thing is you're struggling with? Are you asking me that? Or are you asking Sue that? (laughs) No, I'm asking you. How can I get, how can I get more angelic support? Yeah. How can we help you? Uh, what, what is your exact I, struggle about? What when you use that oh, word? What are you thinking yeah. of when you say it? It basically starts with poverty. It's rooted in poverty consciousness, I believe. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Poverty, financial poverty consciousness, um, uh, unconditional love poverty consciousness, um, touch poverty consciousness, those sorts of things. Um, okay, you need a session with me. <laughs> you need a consultation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This isn't a quick radio show change. We've got to get that one. Yeah. But I had a funny feeling about that, though, Sue. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Doctor Pat. Yeah. We got to. You got to get some. Got to get a little pumped up about that thing right there. Get rid of some of that scarcity stuff. So so let me give you my number. It's eight hundred three two three 
one seven nine zero. Call me um, later, and uh, we'll see okay. what we can do. We got to set something up for you. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Awesome. Thank you both. I'm You're welcome. I will do it. You bet. Thank you. One eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. One eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. And we are taking calls right now. I think we've got some phone lines open, uh, as Mr. Benny has pointed out. So um, I want to talk a little bit about this because sometimes we have these other issues. Let's just call them that for the moment, Sue. And I want to talk about scarcity and love because it did come up. A lot of people don't think about scarcity or scarcity mentality or um, I don't even like the word scarcity. But the idea is I don't have enough of something. I don't have enough money. Um, I don't have enough this. I don't have enough love. I don't have enough self-esteem. And I, I want to talk to you about how we can overturn that I don't have enoughness. Um, by starting to think about plenty. When we grow up, we don't think, it, you know, very seldom do we um, hear our parents say, oh, there's plenty. There's plenty of love. There's plenty of happiness. That there's plenty. So one of the remedies in the book is to obsess on the word plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Sing it, think it, write it, and um, and just believe that there's plenty. Because the truth certainly is, it, it's just that we have to trust it and believe it. That's, that's a simple way of turning it around. Awesome. Uh, 1-800-930-2819. Um, I want to talk to you about a couple of other things, Sue. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we are caught in uh, this he or she done me wrong, that thing. He or she done me wrong. And we cro- we turn a corner sometimes. And the corner that we turn is, okay, he or she done me wrong, but they haven't done me like totally wrong to the point where I can start to think about a new relationship. But let's just be blunt. We got some baggage of our past, and I don't think we even think about the angels being part of a solution. Now, I want to know, who's the angel of baggage? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no one's ever asked me that. I, yeah, there uh, you go. So actually, baggage is bad relationships or bad bad feelings. Um you know what? The angel that's stepping forth is Robert, who's the angel of balance. And it feels like it's, and he's saying if there's balance in your life, then, um, then you know, the future holds more uh, possibilities for you. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, what uh, and another, another one okay, go is, ahead. Yeah. Um, uh, I was just thinking about, oh, Caroline, angel of positive thinking. Okay. Um, so part of this too has to, is wrapped around our self-esteem. Um, right. oh, you know, yeah. this happens to be, the, yeah, this happens to be the time of year, right? Where we're not just thinking about love, but we're thinking about, oh my gosh, I've got to lose 10 pounds. I got to lose 20 pounds. So we come out of January with a ton of broken commitments to ourselves and we come into this, 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 head spinning swirl about the month of love that's everywhere, television, radio, everything you do. Um, I'm just curious about what the messages are from the angels, first of all, so that we can boost our self-esteem to be ready for love. Um, it, oh boy, a message from the angels. Let me, what I was thinking as you were talking about that, is who are the angels? We have an angel of self-esteem, which is Melody. Yeah. And then we have an angel of self-confidence, which is Rebecca. So um, it's a call on those angels. And the message is, you know what? They're saying you can do it. The purpose mm. of the angels in your life is to help you with your life's purpose and to make you happy. They are here to help us be happy. So if we call on them and believe in them, um, Eileen is the angel of happiness. I, and I think getting a copy of the book and learning all the angels, every book has a glossary of angels in it, so you learn which ones help you and which ones um, are important to you. 
And I, I just believe that um, trusting that they're going to be there for you and be a support system is what's going to make it happen. Awesome. I love it. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to hit the phones up. Um, uh, we've got some people I think are waiting, but if you're trying to get in, uh, give it a, give it a try. 1-800-930-2819. If you want to go to our website and ask your question there, go to transformationtalkradio.com or the drpatshow.com. And Sue, how can people find out more about you and what's the special? Okay, absolutely. So, um, it's theangellady.net, T-H-E-A-N-G-E-L-L-A-D-Y.net. And my 800 number is 800-323-1790. And if you want a consultation or to get copies of the book, you can also order them online. And my special, and Dr. Pat, this seems to be the one that everybody likes, is you pay for one half hour and you actually get a full hour. So you get two half hours for the price of one. Second one is no charge. And um, but that's the one they like the most. So we're going to do it again. Awesome. Let's take a short break, everyone. Give us a shout, 1-800-930-2819. And I've got some absolutely incredible questions that are coming in from our listeners as well. Let's take a shorty. We'll be right back. If you're dealing with fear and anxiety, you've probably noticed that the more you fight these emotions, the stronger they seem to get. Dr. Friedemann Schaub, the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution, explains that instead of suppressing, we need to identify and resolve the deeper, subconscious root causes of fear and anxiety. His personal breakthrough program has helped thousands worldwide to overcome their emotional challenges. To learn more, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com and schedule your free consultation with Dr. Schaub now. Defining success and putting minds to work. With the Higher Learners Career and Leadership Series, Rudy Racine will help you craft your personal definition of success, offering support and guidance as you move forward towards your goals. Take the leap. With the right mix of focus and motivation, anything can be achieved. Tune in every first and third Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 Eastern. And for more information on Rudy Racine and Higher Learners, visit Rudy's site at higherlearners.com. That's H-I-R-E learners.com. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. To find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. Are you ready to make deep, lasting, transformative changes? Then tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio for Susanna Jameson's hit show, Love Light Sound Radio. During her show, Susanna inspires and supports spiritually and health-conscious individuals all over the world to reconnect with their heart, their inner peace, and balance. Love Light Sound Radio. Transformation happens here now. For more information, visit SusannaJameson.com. Hey, 
Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. Uh, thank you for all of that. Sue Sorm, the angel lady, is in the house. We are taking your calls. 1-800-930-2819. Nancy, we will get right to you. we got some instant messages as well. Um, Sue, I know that today's show w- is about romance and love, and I know we're going to talk about that. But there seems to be a couple of other things in the air. Before we get to that, I think, Benny, let's take Nancy, who's been patiently waiting. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Pat and Sue. Hi. Hi. I'm Hi. so happy to be on your show. Awesome. How can we help you um, today? Well, all my life, I know I've had a different perspective. Um, I lived up in New York, and I would look at people crossing the street and wondering, what are they doing? What are they thinking? What's their life like? And so connections with people have been, I would say, a work for me, and I've struggled with that. But my connections with animals has always been deep, and it's even deeper now. I'm taking care of dogs who are have, you know, health problems and kind of helping the owners with um, kind of looking through the eyes of the animal. And I don't know if that's just a, a, a step for me to be better with people or if it's my Okay, and you're at, okay so so this is Sue, the angel lady. Um, I'm yeah. I, I, Thomas is the angel of animal care, and it just feels to me like animals um, supersede um, humans <laughs> as far as who you are, are meant to relate yeah. with and take care of oh. and be with. It's it, it's just a natural tendency to you to want to help out um, animals and and make them prosper, so to speak. I mean, not financially, but you know what I mean, as far mm-hmm. as yeah. their health and well-being. Well, that that rings true because when I think of the world and the global change, I'm always thinking of how can hummingbird hummingbird adapt to this different, this climate? And so I do have that um, perspective. And so, so you're saying that's a natural way for me to be focused. Mm-hmm. It is. It it it's your life's purpose. It's your it, it's your goal in life. It's where you thrive mm-hmm. and shine. Oh, thank you. Thrive thank and you. shine. Good so words. Important. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. So I mean, one of the things that I think it's interesting to think about is to think about um, where you want to spread your joy, right? You know, where do I want to get up in the morning and take a look at my life and say, oh, man, you know, I want to be part of that thing or I want to be part of that next thing. And Mm -hmm. I find that interesting that when we get information about what we want to be part of, how Mm -hmm. often we get that information, but we don't do anything about it. And I think this is the year that we have to do things. Right, Sue? Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, a year ago, it's going to be an excellent year for everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I went on a turtle conservation trip just last year, and it just lightened me up. So, wow! Thank you for your information. I really appreciate oh, you that. bet. Yeah, wow! I love that. I think you're going to have a blast this year. You know, that's my sense of it. And you know, we're thrilled to be taking that journey with you. Awesome. Oh. Thank you. Well, I really believe in that journey. Thank you very much. Oh, you bet. Thanks. Hey, Bye-bye. we're taking your calls. 1-800-930-2819. Yep, we're taking your calls. 1-800-930-2819. Questions, comments for the angel ladies. I've got a couple of messages coming in here, Sue. Okay. Um, hi, Dr. Pat and Sue. Um heard a caller talk about scarcity and I don't know if I don't know if it's scarcity itself or it's something else but I want to ask you about doubt doubt Dr. Pat you talked about doubt the other day is that about scarcity and how do I have less doubt Joanne from I think that's Chicago Joanne from Chicago. Okay. Doubt. Sue, doubt. Yeah, because doubt is doubt is the thing that I don't care if you're talking about money or you're talking about love. 
That is a showstopper, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah, boy. Yep. So, so yep. what I feel is that um, we all have something inside of ourselves or our mind called a judge. I call it a judge in my books and when I work with it. And the judge is something that tells you you can't do this, you're not, you're too this, you're too that, you're too heavy, you're too, um, you know, you're, you're just not going to make it. And, huh. and I believe doubt comes in with the judge. The opposite of the judge is your angels, which gives you good messages. You feel good when you get the message, and they, um, you know, build you up and help you um, to move forward in life. So I believe the doubt is the judge. And if you want to um, go into that more with me, um, again, you can call for a consultation, and we can specifically pick out what judge messages are holding you back and making you doubt. Mm hmm yeah, because part of this, too, is understanding that which is really gnawing away at us. Right, and when right. I say gnawing away, I really mean it, because what we're really talking about is this feeling of hopelessness. Yeah. And there is nothing uh, that can turn that level of hopelessness around if we are imbued in doubt. Doubt about ourselves, doubt about our future, doubt about the economy, doubt about the government, doubt, doubt, doubt. And, and you work with people 24-7, and they show up like that. So this is not just, you know, this one. It's not just her. And there's also, absolutely, it's, it's, it's one of the main things that I do is help people um, discover what is, what's their programming? What is it that um, stops them? And usually when there's doubt, there's fear. And usually when there's fear, there's like a what if, or what if this happens, or what if that, what if this doesn't happen, what if I never make it? There's a lot of what ifs. And I say if a sentence starts with what if, then you're in quicksand, because there's no way mm. out. Mm -hmm. And um, so I tell people to watch their sentences, talk to their angels. We, we have a system. I, I mean, I, I have found a system of really helping being, people turn their lives around. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are talking about turning our lives around. And sometimes we think, well, wait a minute. You know, I'm just having with uh, uh, an issue with this little problem. But the bottom line is that we can turn things around. I got to say that it's energy. So much of this is energy. And I think that that is something the angels for sure can help us with, Sue, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Mm. absolutely. Let's go to the Let's go to phones. Okay. Mr. Benny. Trish from uh, Connecticut. Welcome to the show. Hey, Trish. Great Thank to have you. I appreciate here. it. Yeah. How can we help you today? Um, I was wondering if I could get a reading around uh, new employment or finances. 2017 was a little difficult, and I'm hoping for an energy shift. Okay. Um, have you gotten your angels yet from Sue? I haven't. All right, Sue. All right, here we go. Because you have one of the best money angels. You have Jeremiah, who's the angel of financial security. So um, you, you should be able to turn that around. And again, we can do a consultation and figure out how to do that, but for you in particular, but you should be able to turn it around because your angel was chosen for you so that you would have financial security. Your archangel is Gabriel, that's messages and communication, and your other angel is um, actually Caroline, the angel of positive thinking. So you've got all the angels to help you in every way um, to, to make that happen for you. Um, and, and another thing they're telling me is about trust, because you're used to or familiar with not having more than you are with having enough and plenty and extra, uh, we have to switch you around to believing that there's extra and there is enough and um, extra income to do the things that you want to do. Hmm. Do, do, you, do you get What I feel like is your body is used to tense, not enough, and, and, and contracting, and we need to help you expand and breathe and pull in that flow. How's that? Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, um, I use, it's funny. I used to be more like you're trying to get me to be. And ah! Four or five years has been, you know, kind of taking a toll. 
Yeah. And, and, and let me give you my number again, 800-323-1790. Uh, take advantage of the Dr. Pat special, and, and I really feel that we can turn this around for you. Yeah, I think okay, it's the great. year to do that. I think it's the time for a lot of people, you know, when they look back on last year, uh, they're looking back at the the total year and the both the emotional, <clears throat> the psychological, and other parts of it, you know. And I think that's a different energy that I'm hearing from people. So, yeah, uh, let's Sue help you out with that. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. We're going to take a short break here in a minute. Uh, but before we do, Sue, how can people find out more about you? How can they work with you? How can they contact you? All right. So my website is theangellady.net, T-H-E-A-N-G-E-L-L-A-D-Y.net. And my 800 number is 800-323-1790. I have three books. They all start with Angel First Aid. One is Rx for Miracles, Rx is Prescription for Success, How to Find Your Life's Purpose and Be Successful. That's a really popular book. And then Remedies for Life, Love, and Prosperity. My special is you pay for a half hour but you really get an hour, so you get two half hours, the first one you pay for and the second one you get free. And the reason we do that is because you're going to come up with new questions, you're going to come up with new um, ideas, and I like to follow through. I want to follow you to the next week, so we do it a week apart. And what you get out of a session is exactly what you need. The angel just came through and said, tell them they get exactly what they need. We, if it's prosperity, we give you techniques, uh, affirmations. If it's uh, love, we tell you how to go about it. And your angels are involved in every session, so they're there. They're on top of it. Awesome. We're going to take a short break, everyone. We are still taking your calls, 1-800-930-2819, one 930 I'm Dr. Pat Sue Storm, the angel lady. When we come back, our wrap-up about love. We'll be right back. When we said goodbye, the world turned a darker shade. The dust settled down. Stones changed color. Who's ready to rock 2018? What expert assistance to ground and clear your energy and raise your vibration? Hi, I'm Wendy Rose Williams, Certified Spiritual Teacher. Call 425-502-0362 to schedule your free 15-minute consult to learn how a one-hour soul wisdom healing session, full-day regression healing, or 90-day energetic boot camp can help you with the next big thing. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com to plan your magic carpet ride with me. The Janice Underwood Show, helping you create the life you want, not the life you tolerate. Tune in each Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as Janice delves into the life creator system and the next step in your spiritual evolution. Janice Underwood is gifted at helping spiritually minded people shift their mindsets to unleash the creator within. Our souls wish to wake us up. Those of us listening, hear the call. Do you? For more information, visit JaniceUnderwood.com. Gain powerful insight and practical tools to support you on your spiritual journey. Access your higher self and tune in every second and fourth Thursday at 12 p.m. Pacific to A Life Untethered with Andrew Martin and now co-host Jeremy Nudell. Walking the path of freedom. Andrew is a highly attuned intuitive oracle, energy worker, spiritual teacher, and international radio host. For more about Andrew and his services, visit andrewmartin.energy. Healing has a ripple effect. One person's healing affects everyone around them. This is where the power of sharing our stories can be so important. Tune in to Playing on the Edge Radio with Megan Edge each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Megan provides you with ways of sustaining radical and powerful changes in your life. Enact the power of radical change. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca.
stop thinking and start acting. And I'll tell you what repeated thinking does. It doesn't help you in creating your dream life. It actually creates a lot of unconscious stress. So remember how it feels when you think of something but you don't do it. I want to call the doctor, I don't. I want to read a book, I don't. I want to go see a friend, I don't. I want to go on a diet, I don't. So there's many things where you think of something and you don't do it. And what happens is that when you don't do it, it creates a stress. Also undermines your own strength and confidence in yourself. So it's really important to get going. You have a thought, act it out, and you're done. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so great to have all of you. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. It's so great to have all of you do that. Sue Storm, the angel lady, is here. She is celebrating with us as we embark, as I said before, on our 15th year, which for some of you, uh, honestly, it seems like yesterday. Um, But part of that is figuring out how to look at one's life, at least for me it is, how to look at one's life, how to love one's life, and how to do it in a way where we're constantly giving back to the world, to the universe, and to others. And that's really what keeps both Sue and I moving forward in the ways we want to move forward. Isn't that the truth, Sue? It is. And and just trusting that you're in the flow. You know, there's there's two ways to live life. You push and push and push, and you try and make this happen and that happen, or just allowing your angels to support you, be with you, learning how to think positive, and just be in the flow. And that seems to work. That works mm-hmm. the best. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, today, <clears throat> today we're talking about love because we're coming up on February. You know, I want to get back to something we said earlier about there not being one sort of formula for love, that there are many, many aspects of love and that each of us gets to look at how to bring love into our lives in the ways we want. You know, you and I were just talking about children a few minutes ago. You know, we're talking about what does that mean to have the love of our children, Um which doesn't mean that we can't have love in other ways. And I, I think, I, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is, you know, over time, what have you found brings the greatest joy to people? What have you seen in the clients you work with where they went from not having love to then being love? Right. Well, one of the, um, if someone asked me, what is the question I get most asked on their on the radio, or what, what are people most interested in? And it's really all about love and relationships. Mm. It can be about love of their children. It can be a love about, um, but it's mainly about relationships. Money is important. Prosperity is important. But when people feel fulfilled and when they feel loved, and and of course you can get love um, from your spiritual. Um, preference, and you can get love from God, and you can get love. You know, one of our remedies in the book is love is in the air. You can mm-hmm. just take a deep breath and pull in the love. It's there. You look mm-hmm. for it. So mm. it's all different kinds of love. Wow. You know, um, a couple things that I wanted to talk with you about um, that have to do with this is bringing more love into the world. And let's take a minute to just chat about that, about what does it mean to bring more love into the world? Um, This is really, I think, the call to action that many people are sensing needs to happen, but don't even know where to begin. Yeah, um, in love is a vibration. It's a frequency. 
Um, and so if we um, ask for the frequency of love, if we ask for the vibration of love to circle the earth and to help the planet and to help those on the planet, um, it, the thing is people don't think a lot of the time that they have any power to change things so that they can do that, that they can really mm-hmm. send love around the planet. Um, I do. And mm. I know you do. So, yeah. And if more of us thought about sending love to the planet and to the uh, everyone on the planet and um, to those who um, help us, um, you know, the, the caregivers and the people who help mm-hmm. us in the world, if we send them um, uh, the vibration of love, can't imagine what could happen if we all were mm-hmm. doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's it. I think sometimes we get hooked into what's going on in our outer world and it pulls us off uh, guard. It really catches us. I I was talking to somebody the other day who used the frame, uh, used the phrase blindsided and, you know, talking about uh, the latest current events or things that are happening in the world. And I just sometimes just pull out. I just don't want to be plugged in to that energy and the vibration. But sometimes because of the business that I am in, I have to be. How can we keep that angelic energy regardless of what's going on in the world? I would say go above it. You know, your angels fly above it. They don't know the negative emotions. They don't know anger and and fear and um, jealousy. They only work in the vibration of love. So if you connect with them, if you stay in their in their presence and their vibration, if you believe that um, you can be above it, we can let our blessings shine down on the world. We can come from above. That's what they just told me to tell you. We don't have to stay in the um, uh, the chaos and the conflict. We can jump mm-hmm. above it, and we can fly with the angels, and we can send love everywhere. That's possible. Uh-oh. I love it. Now, one of the things we didn't mention today, Sue, is we didn't mention your books. And I know we've got a few minutes left. So please tell people about your books. I know Benny and I are also featured in one of them. But let's give some information about that out. Oh, sure. So there's three books. It's a series of books that start with Angel First Aid, because that's basically what I do. You need something. You you need it now. You need a change. You need something um, to make your life better, um, that's angel first aid. And that's why I'm very available to people. Hours, I'll, you know, you call, I, I call you back, or I'm right there to pick up the phone. So angel first aid, Rx for Miracles, is a general book. It's a lighter book. It's more like for children or younger people. Angel first aid, Rx for Success, is the one that I feel most of your listeners would want to, um, to get a copy of. And that's how to find your life's purpose and be successful. And then Angel First Aid Remedies for Life, Love, and Prosperity is the book that uh, Benny and Dr. Pat each have a whole page in that book about them. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that's a, a general, like an encyclopedia of remedies. What do you need? What angels to call on? How can you do it? And it's, it's just a, a, actually, that's what it is, an encyclopedia of remedies. How to make your life better. Awesome. Sue, thank you so much for today. I've got one last question for you. Sure. Um, what would you like to leave us with? What do the angels want to share with us for a message for this love season? Exactly what we were talking about before. Love is in the air. Love is, is there for you. You know, you can reach out. You can grab it. Feel that happiness inside of you. Feel the love inside of you and share it with others. It's very possible to do that. Oh, thank you, Sue Storm, the angel lady, everybody. I'm Dr. Pat. For more information about me, go to the Dr. Pat show. For more information about Sue, go to theangellady.net. Thank you, Benny. Thank you all for tuning us in. We'll see you next time.
The preceding audio was via a Skype call.